Hi, I'm Amanda from Two Dose Nation and I have with me here today, Miram and Ben. We're gonna ask them a few questions about working in Yellowstone as a couple and living in the dorms above the store. So if you could, can you introduce yourselves? I know I've said your names, but can you introduce yourselves and tell us where you're from? Yeah, okay, I'm Ben. I'm from Wisconsin, but I'm actually from England originally. Um, and I'm 19. Okay, and Miram? I'm Miram, I'm also 19. I'm from Wisconsin, Madison. Um, yeah, and I go to school in the U in Minnesota. The U in Minnesota, awesome. So, <clears throat> how did you two meet? Like, I love to hear people's stories <laughs> and uh, have, like a lot of people here are friends and they came over together just to be uh, work for the summer together but how did you two meet um well we met in high school in freshman yeah. year oh really yeah. yeah i like remember it we were like in the cafeteria and <laughs> um i think we like were talking about this youtuber called emmy made oh, yeah. <laughs> she's like this um food eating youtuber mm -hmm. and no we i both, know who you're talking about you know her yes. i love emmy <laughs> yeah um so we were talking about her and then that's like how we bonded um, so do y'all go to college together? Do no, you do? we go to different schools. I okay. go to the University of Wisconsin. What do both of you do here in Yellowstone? What's your positions? Um, I'm a cook in the fountain. Okay. Yeah, I'm a cashier in the general store at Fishing Bridge. Well, Ben, I think you're vegetarian and Miriam, I think you're vegan. Yeah. How is that affecting um, your being a cook? I feel oh, like it's well, in the fountain. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, like, I don't really like any of the stuff that I make. <laughs> uh -huh. But I don't know. It's fine. I don't really like care that much about it. <laughs> but it's I not mean, necessarily like, a bad thing that yeah. you don't like. At least you're not tempted. Yeah, to... I, like, I never want to like eat it or anything. So I think like... the worst part is like having to eat the EDR, the employee yeah, dining the room. Yeah, EDR sucks. I feel like a lot of the time we have not many options. Like sometimes we'll just have like corn. And that's it. And like vegetables. Yeah, like cold vegetables. Yeah, or like frozen vegetable medley yeah. or something. Yeah. So we had to like go to Walmart and like buy our, our own like, like snacks. snacks and stuff so okay. that they can cook for us. Yeah. Yeah. I know that has to suck. I feel kind of bad for y'all sometimes when I'm yeah. like, oh. Yeah, it does, honestly. <laughs> sometimes the EDR can be a little yeah. out there. It depends on who's cooking. Yes. I won't name names. <laughs> <laughs> no, no names. Uh, so I wanted to ask you guys about how you found out about Yellowstone and what made you to decide to come out here and do this for the summer. Yeah. Um, my parents worked here when they were like in their 20s. So like that's how I found in out about it. In 1991. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. They that's wanted us to do it. They wanted us to do the same thing. <laughs> oh, so they encouraged you. Yeah, to they encouraged. They want me to do like everything that they've done. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just here for the ride too. I wanted to ask you, um, what have you thought about your experience so far here at Yellowstone? It's been good. Um, like I obviously love being in the park, like in the nature and stuff. I feel like having that like so close is so nice. But there's also stuff that I really don't like as well. Uh -huh. um, like I feel like living in the national park is kind of like it's a good thing on one hand because it's so beautiful but it's also so popular with tourists and stuff it can be like kind of hard to like get away from it it's so busy all the time yes so it just kind of feels like you're living in a tourist attraction and sometimes you just need some peace and quiet it's kind of you have to search hard for it you do have to search hard for it which is kind of awkward to me because yellowstone is so huge yeah and it's such a beautiful national park a big beautiful national park and but you still have to find places to find quiet yeah i mean and... if you go off the main road and like away from like all the stuff that's along the main roads and it's not hard to find but that's that requires like a lot of hiking mm -hmm. so and that kind of leads us into another thing too. I wanted to ask you, um, we've been asking people, what is your biggest pro and your biggest con for working here at Yellowstone for the summer and living here? Um, for me, the biggest pro is the nature. Um, it is extremely beautiful here and I think it's like, you know, there's nowhere else in the world like Yellowstone where they have all the thermal stuff. 
and then like I said the biggest con is like the how busy it is and just like the tourists mm -hmm. and how it can be kind of difficult to get away from it okay yeah I think the biggest pro is also like just like being close to the park and everything but um, for me the biggest con is the EDR food is the EDR food yeah. and trying with a special diet to get everything yeah. that you need yes it's hard do you have any advice that you would give, like maybe for couples who are younger couples who are wanting to come and work here for the summer and live in the dorms? I know we haven't really covered that that much, but you do live in the dorm here over yeah. in the couple section over Fishing Bridge. My, I would just like bring more books if I like could. I feel like I didn't bring enough books. Bring more books? Yeah, to read. Or maybe like an, an e-reader or something yeah. and have plenty of them downloaded. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would say um, bring like an RV if you have one because <laughs> um, living in the dorms like after 10 p.m. you have to be very quiet uh -huh. and for us as young people like we don't want to be quiet after 10 p.m. <laughs> but like a lot of our neighbors are elderly so we have to be respectful of that. Uh -huh. um, but I wish we didn't have to be. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. One thing we would like to know is what is one item that you would like to bring with you if you did this again that you didn't bring this time? An RV. An RV, <laughs> yeah. just so you could have that privacy and a little yeah. bit of that and independence. And a kitchen so I could cook my, cook my own food. Yes, that's yeah. kind of important for both of you, yes. Mm -hmm. What about you, Miriam? What would be... I don't know. Probably, I'd probably bring, like, different clothes. Like, I feel like I didn't bring enough, like clothes to wear like hiking and stuff like layered clothing yeah. for the inclement weather here yeah is there any other advice or pointers you would like to give to someone who's thinking about this i would say like if you can um you should like do research into like what your job will be I didn't really get an opportunity to like choose my job, but like if you can, <laughs> if you can, like maybe you would want to like choose like your position. Mm -hmm. um, I know I would rather probably not be a cashier and maybe work in the kitchen or something instead. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really have a choice, so maybe okay. you wouldn't either. All right, I definitely uh, agree with researching your position. I. I'm really enjoying my position, but sometimes I don't know if I want to be like back in the kitchen. I'd rather just strictly make coffee or strictly scoop ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But um, that's one reason why we wanted to do these videos because believe it or not, there's not a lot of information out there. There's a little bit, um, but it's more generalized. There's not specific information out there about, you know, living quarters or anything yeah for yellowstone so that's why what inspired us to start doing these videos here sure well thank you so much for sharing your input and everything we really appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and make sure you <laughs> subscribe to our channel this is amanda reminding you to keep soaring to the end out